What's going on guys? Dorian here on another beautiful rainy day and uh, I'm going to get a part for my bike because for some reason my motorcycle wasn't charging my phone yesterday and the charger the fuse was still good on it everything was still good on the charger however just wasn't charging my phone and you can't ride a motorcycle without having a phone charger so yeah I'm heading to go get the charger now uh, I figured I'd make a video on the differences between a regular Crown Victoria and a police interceptor uh, there's not that many differences there's not no special parts that come into the Crown Vic there's no special cop chip or engine it's just a handful of things that are really worth it when you're looking into getting either a Crown Vic or a police interceptor so I'm gonna tell you the differences of what a police interceptor has in comparison to the uh, Crown Victorias also want to give a big shout out to all the people that uh, gave me a bunch of feedback on the first auto vlog that I did, uh, I really appreciate it. It was it was all kind words. Um, I tried lowering the head, the camera to kind of make it a little bit better of an angle, and I'm trying to like slouch down a little bit. So hopefully that that helps with the angle and stuff. Um, I tried to take any feedback that I that I got and you know improve these videos somehow. I'm still using the head mount. The, the GoPro mount, as you can see, is actually there now. So, uh, you'll see how the videos come out. It's pretty loud, the car noise that comes out of that, but you'll see how the videos come out. It, it, it looks really good from there. And uh, I, th I think I might start, this is my dash cam here. I think I might start incorporating my dash cam into the videos too. But we'll, we'll see how it all goes down. So, let's get started with this video. Uh, one of the biggest things with the Crown Victoria and the police interceptor is that most of the Crown Victorias have air suspension and the police interceptors have the spring shocks or springs and that makes a huge difference uh, definitely all for the better the suspension is a lot stiffer the suspension is a lot more rugged compared to the air suspension that you would get on a regular Crown Vic or a town car or a Grand Marquis. So that's the, the first major difference that I know and that I feel when driving the two different cars is the, is the suspension. The second difference is the transmissions in the Crown Victorias versus the police interceptors is a little bit different it's a little bit longer in the crown victorias and it's a little bit uh, i think the torque converter is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller there's there's definitely a difference in it and it is the transmission i'm just not sure of the actual specifics but i know if you wanted to put a regular crown vic uh transmission into these cars you wouldn't be able to do it because the transmission is too short so the the, the major difference is the is the, the length of the transmission and the housing on the back compared to the um, regular Crown Vicks. The town car, from what I know, has a very similar transmission that might work. Um, and the, the Crown Victoria also has the aluminum drive shaft too. So that's, that's, a, that's another difference between the, the Crown Vic and the police interceptor. Uh, another difference is the interior. The interior of these cars is very basic as you can tell. There's nothing here, there's nothing to do, nothing anywhere. There's a trunk release in the middle. Your climate controls are as basic as basic comes. Uh, on the Crown Victorias, you get like a cloth material or you possibly you can get a leather material. You actually get a carpet. These cars, the police interceptors don't have carpets. So that's just another amenity or luxury, if you would say, that you can get if you get a Crown Victoria over a police interceptor. Uh, another, another difference is that these cars don't have any cop chips. I don't, I don't know where that came from, but the modern police interceptors definitely do not have cop chips. But they are set up with different gears so that the shifting points are, are different than your, your typical Crown Victoria which is 
which is pretty nice. I, I like the shift points on this. I have my transmission J modded, which is a Jerry mod from the guy who designed the transmissions for Ford. And I really enjoy the shift points now. Uh, the, the only thing else you can do is get another tuner. You can get a tuner and um, tune the car so that you get even better shift points. But right now it shifts like 20 miles an hour. And then like from there it shifts so smooth to, to overdrive. So there's really no issue with the front clutch basket getting worn out and stuff on this car just because of how quickly it shifts and how smooth it shifts with the J-Mod. Uh, another difference between this car, the Police Interceptor and the Crown Victoria is that the uh, wheels, I don't know if there's a wheel size is the difference, but the wheels themselves, this these only comes with the steel wheels with the um, chrome center caps. I know the Crown Victorias have hub caps and the Crown Victorias, some of them have rims. So that's a that's a significant change too with the with the two. These do come with hub caps, but that's more of the um, street appearance package. It's not the actual police interceptor package. Um, another good difference between the Crown Victoria and the Police Interceptor is that the VIN number will be different. The VIN number will say if it's a Police Interceptor, it'll have a P71 in the like fifth or sixth position on the VIN number. So just keep your eye out for that if you are looking to buy a P71 or you're looking to buy a Police Interceptor, that you're looking for either a P71, P7B, you know, anything like that in the in the fifth or sixth position on the uh, VIN number That's all I can really think of off the top of my head. That's different between this car and the Crown Victoria base models uh, If you guys have any differences that you've noticed or if you know anything that I didn't mention in this video Please be sure to put it in the comment section because I was always looking at Crown Vicks And then I started looking into police interceptors just because of those little differences that I just mentioned in this video But I'm curious what else is actually different and if it makes that big of a deal, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Hopefully the angle was a little bit better. Like I said, I am slouching down, so I'm trying to get more of like, not so much of the dash up here, or the headliner. I'm just trying to get the window in my hand. So, yeah, hopefully everything looks good, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.